Hi everyone. Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I posted any videos uh, on my YouTube channel, but uh, glad to be um, getting a chance to um, catch up on the Raspberry Pi 5 that I bought. And this machine has um, two camera slots, two MIPI camera slots. So uh, I recently was able to get both cameras working with my uh, time exposure uh, computer vision application and um, I wanted to share that uh, uh, with you. Um, so what you're seeing in this uh, picture is two instances of the program running as uh, this is the CV Timex program that uh, I had previously um, used on this channel to demonstrate some of the some of the um, some of the things that I've been uh, playing with. Two instances of it are running. Each instance is using a different camera. Uh, one of the things that I learned in the process was that uh, the, ca the cameras uh, on the, the dual cameras on the um, Raspberry Pi Five uh, are not capable of doing stereo vision, and each instance, each camera can only be opened by a separate program that is you I cannot have one program a multi-threaded program that uh, would have two two of them two cameras open at the same time uh, so each uh, I'm running in this case uh, running the, the program in two different instances of it and uh, capturing each instance is capturing from a different uh, different uh, camera and it's doing its typical um, edge detection application that I had um, that I had shown before and um, um, some of the some of the um, some of the things that uh, I typically play with here um, let's see motion wouldn't uh, wouldn't work here but in this scene but uh, right now I have uh, this is uh, on the bottom left is the phase uh, edge detection using the phase information on the right it's uh, using finite um, difference method and then um, uh, what I'll do is I'll put it back uh, so that the live uh, picture has a histogram imp imp uh, superimposed on it so that I can do that here in this uh, as well and uh, let's go ahead and just so what we have on the right on the left here uh, on this uh, quadrant we have the 10 minute time exposure and on the, on the right is the blue gray red um, uh, image that's coming from the camera so um, the Raspberry Pi 5 seems to be capable of handling this it is still able to deliver the 10 uh, frames per second that I'm targeting for this 10 minute uh, time exposure. I don't need it at 30 frames per second. So by running it at 10 frames per second, I'm able to, um, to um, capture what I need. And um, I'm also using um, ISPC multitask uh, multitasking for uh, doing some of the time exposure and also doing the uh, phase calculations so that's uh, using simd uh, using neon and um, neon instructions as well as uh, multi-threading and the two cameras are both uh, sony uh, the camera module 2 Raspberry Pi camera module 2 uh, which is based on the Sony IMX uh, uh, 219 um, sensor so anyways uh, I, I wanted to share this with you that uh, uh, I can I can run both cameras now uh, and this is a big improvement for the Raspberry Pi platform thanks for uh, watching and see you at uh, another video